Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love creating costumes and Halloween as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be creating a female version of DC villain The Riddler. I came up with this idea because of a wig that I already had. I had a cane. I had spats, like shoes that look like spats. And I thought, I already have most of this costume. But there's not technically a female Riddler, but there's going to be today. And this is a great idea for a lot of you ladies out there who want maybe a little bit of a kind of a sexier costume without being so sexy but it's it's going to be really cute. It's loosely based off of Jim Carrey's interpretation of the Riddler from the movie Batman Forever. I hope you like it. Let's go ahead and get started. The intent of this costume was to do a female version of the Riddler because I felt it really all centered around this orange wig that I had and I was like, you know, I think that would be really cool. So I'm doing sort of the jumpsuit version from Batman Forever. So it would be Jim Carrey's bodysuit, but as a female. So it's, it's gonna look really cool. I got this footed green bodysuit off of Amazon for a reasonable price. I think it was only like 20 bucks. And then I already had the walking stick, which I'm going to modify a little bit using a little piece of wood here that I already had and a styrofoam ball and some Crayola Model Magic. I have these spats, which I actually wore for my wedding <laughs> in 2018, but I kind of wear them for costumes here and there. Then I have this mask, which I bought for $2 at Party City, and the hat here, which is all, which was also reasonable. I think it was like 10 bucks or something. I have some extra felt, which I'm gonna cut question marks out of. I think it's going to turn out awesome. Let's get started on that. I'll show you progress shots as we go. It did not take long to create. What took the most time was cutting out the question marks out of the felt. Outside of that, everything did not take long at all. I just hot glued them onto this material, to this bodysuit that I bought, and I think it turned out awesome. I did the front and the back because it didn't take long, so I just kept doing them, kept putting them on there. As many as you can put on there, it's gonna look better the more you put on. And then here's my finished cane. It's not super smooth, but I think it looks pretty cool. It turned out good. I wanted to mention that this with the Crayola Model Magic did get a little heavy and kind of collapsed. So it's a little not straight. <laughs> it still turned out good, but what I would suggest is rather than using Model Magic, just kind of balling up some cellophane wrap, um, clear wrap, like you get for leftovers and just balling that up and taping around it and then doing your paper mache around that because the Crayola Model Magic was a little heavy to use and it took a little longer to dry. So 
The cellophane wrap will probably work better. There's the hat that we also put the question mark on. Let's get our makeup on. It's makeup time. I feel like it's been forever since we did a costume together, but it hasn't. <laughs> so what's great about this costume is that it's essentially it's my idea. Unless DC came out with a female Riddler and I didn't know about it, this is my brainchild and I can make her look however I want. With some characteristics of the Jim Carrey version from Batman Forever 1995, I'm going to be creating a female version of that Riddler and I guess combination it with the Riddler that wears the suit and hat. I think it's gonna look really cool. So let's go ahead and get our makeup on. I did put a foundation on and that's all I've done so far. But what I would suggest is just do makeup just as you would if you were not gonna be wearing a mask. And the reason I say this is, like I say with all the costumes, if you're going out and stuff, and for whatever reason you wanna take your mask off or it gets uncomfortable or it starts weighing down on your ears or whatever the case may be, you can take it off with the confidence of knowing that you have a full face underneath. That's for those of you ladies that, that wear makeup like myself. Those of you who are comfortable not wearing makeup or fine with it, I mean, it doesn't matter, but I personally would just do a whole face. So since our eyebrows aren't gonna be showing, but I'm gonna go ahead and and darken them as I would if I was going to be wearing just regular makeup and no mask. I'm gonna take first a black liner and go ahead and line my waterline with black. We're doing black all around our eyes. And I'm going to use my Kat Von D palette for that. Now, I'm more of a DC fan than a Marvel fan. Why? I don't know. Gotham City it just seems a little darker, and that's kind of my whole thing. You know, I like more dark, mysterious villains and, and stuff like that, and it, they, I, I just feel like DC has really good villains. So, my husband likes Marvel, and he tells me that Marvel has some really good villains too. And I actually did like the one with Jared Leto. I went and saw that movie with him and I actually did like that one. But I love like the Joker and Two-Face and the Penguin and all these all these great villains. Catwoman even was a villain. I just really liked all of them. And the Riddler is a villain. But Batman Forever wasn't my favorite out of the whole thing. Of course, I'm a big Tim Burton fan, so my favorite two were the first two that were directed by Tim Burton, the one with Catwoman and the Penguin. Definitely probably going to be doing some costumes from that. I don't know if it'll be this year, but I'm going to be doing some costumes from that one coming up. I always have a plan for my costumes and then throughout the year they kind of change depending upon budget and what's going on in my life and how I'm feeling. So <laughs> the plan never quite stays the same but it always turns out good. So if you haven't already subscribed, you may want to, because Halloween is literally right around the corner. We're already midway through the year and Halloween's the next major holiday. So you may want to just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Because if you're one of these ones that waits around to the last minute, you might want some ideas for costumes this year. And I've got them. I'm just taking from my palette here. This is the Kat Von D Vegan Beauty Edge of Reality palette. And it's this dark color, which I actually use quite a bit. We're really doing a blackout kind of eye. But it's got a little shimmer to it, which I like. We are a female uh, Riddler, so it's gonna have a little bit of a shimmer. And that's all I'm doing. I'm actually gonna get a different brush to kind of go around the eye a little bit. Might work with this one. Cause I don't want it to really be too thin because then my, my flesh will show under the mask. So we want it to be kind of a thicker line underneath. And I'm gonna do my other eye the exact same way. Batman Forever actually really has some great characters. If you're looking to do a group costume, um, they've got, it's the one with Two-Face in it, and he's got 
Drew Barrymore and there was another actress that played Sugar and Spice. Um, so you could be Two-Face, a group of like three friends, a guy friend and two girls could be Two-Face and Sugar and Spice and then you have the Riddler and it's actually the one that had Robin in it and it was played by Chris O'Donnell. So there's a lot of really cool uh, characters in there. And what I kind of like about DC too, I feel like Marvel has a lot of like body suits. I don't know, this one's a body suit, but um, they have more like, I feel like DC is a little more interesting when it comes to costumes. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, you know? I'm not actually a really big comic book fan, to be honest with you. Like, I don't really follow it. Like, if there's a DC movie that comes out that I want to see, I'll go see it. Uh, I did see that Batman movie, the one with Rob Pattinson. I didn't like it. I think he said, like, three lines in the whole movie. It just... No. It just didn't do it for me. The Riddler in that movie sucked, too. Like, you couldn't even see his face. It was just completely... It was like he was wearing a potato sack. Like, I, I just didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. And I didn't like the Catwoman. She was wearing like a, uh, like a ski mask. It was, it was just, to me it wasn't, it didn't have the appeal that the other Batman movies had, if that makes sense. There wasn't even a really a clear plot in the movie to me. I'm just like, the whole movie, I'm like, what's going on? I couldn't tell you what the storyline was for that movie. I just, I have no idea. I kind of went a little crazy with this one, but that's okay. I think I'm just going to match this one up because I'm not hating it. I kind of got my nails done to match this costume and another one I have coming up. Look at it. It's like black and green. Maybe you can guess what the, what another costume is that I'm going to be doing here very soon. What's black and green and evil all over? <laughs> that's your clue. Looks pretty good. Blend it out a little bit. Pretty wild. Wild child. I'm gonna get some eyelashes here going. Just a little mascara. I don't think I'm gonna do fake eyelashes for this one. I don't love them. So, just gonna rock the God Givens. And then, a little blush and some lipstick. And we'll be ready to roll. It's very easy. This concept the whole concept and because I had a lot of the stuff it didn't even cost that much I think I did this whole costume cost me under $30 to create because I had all that that leftover felt if you have leftover felt and it, even if it's cut into shapes save it because it could be just enough to do a costume with like I made all these question marks out of some cut up shaped up felt that I had and it made enough question marks for the whole costume. I didn't have to buy any felt, which was awesome. So make sure you're saving your scrap material. Could come in handy. Don't be a pack rat. I'm not saying be a pack rat. I'm just saying save your stuff. I'm going to do kind of a pink blush for this one. I just think it's more this character. Jim Carrey was almost effeminate himself. He had like the, I want to say the Annie Lennox look going on <laughs> as the Riddler. The sort of 1980s punk. Now I'm just, I think I'm gonna do red lipstick for this. I want to look dramatic and almost clown-like. So I'm gonna do a red lipstick. This is a really good lipstick. You can tell it's has a lot of pigment. It does kind of dry out on your lips, but this is the NYX shine loud in red I'm excited let's get our costume one all dressed up and ready for photos
Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you love today's look. There's plenty more where that came from. And every week, Wednesday, I'll be releasing a new costume. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And just a little side note for DC out there. This is my brainchild. So if you want to use this idea, I expect royalties. Anyway, that does it for today's episode. I'll see you next time.